fall weather will be back for by then. You know, fingers crossed. when we look at these really long term models like 10 days out, of course, the accuracy is mm -hmm. uh, you know, kind of there, kind of not. But you look 10 days out and it looks like there might be a series of days where there's sunshine. Right Hallelujah, brother. Cleanup, so. <laughs> but keep in mind, I know you don't like looking that far out. Well, it's the thing is the accuracy yeah. 10 days out. It's just not there. So if anybody claims like I've got so. a 10 day forecast and I know exactly yeah. what every, no, don't listen to them. No. You're focusing on this weekend though, where we know a yes. lot of rain's coming. Yes, a lot of rain is on the way and that's just a few days out from now. So enjoy today. Enjoy tomorrow because we will be rain free <laughs> temporarily. 66 degrees Lincoln City. Isn't this just a gorgeous sight? Waves not too big, wind not too strong. It's just perfect. Tomorrow it gets even warmer at the coast and inland too. Right now, Portland 74 degrees. Wind out of the northwest at just three miles per hour. Your sun sets at 729 sunrise time. Tomorrow 644. Take a look at these numbers across the state. 65 Legrand, 74 Pendleton, the Dalles 77, Newport 63. So how about that rain? We got quite a bit, depending on where you were yesterday. Of course, today, no rain to report, um, but our month to date total at PDX. Now we're just about at eight tenths of an inch. That gives us a surplus of nearly three tenths of an inch. So above normal for month to date uh, rainfall totals. Now we look at the entire year, though. We are still behind by roughly four and a half inches. Will we make up for that though? I mean, it seems every every time we get a rain event, we get a little bit closer to making up for it. But can we and would we get four inches of rain from this next system? I don't think four inches is called for, but perhaps one and a half or maybe even two. Um, so let's talk about that first. Here's this area of low pressure. It's spinning off here in the Gulf of Alaska, originating from there. We'll be heading in our direction. Initially, the rain that we get on Friday will be pretty light. Again, starting off Thursday, Thursday, you're in the clear for the afternoon. Rain arrives by late in the evening through Friday morning. This is about 4 35 o'clock in the morning. Rain starting to trickle in, coming in from the northwest and then spreading out from there. Friday night, we dry up. Saturday, we're dry but cloudy, cooler. Sunday morning, now here's the big stuff. This is arriving 6 o'clock in the morning. Again, first coming from the northwest and then spreading across the rest of the state. We get through Monday, Monday more rain. In fact, with Monday's rain, we might be having just a little bit of instability. So there's a potential we could be talking about thunderstorms again, and we're expecting that rain to stick around through Tuesday. So how much rain could we see? Well, initially Friday, maybe a tenth of an inch or a quarter of an inch, but take a look at how those numbers grow as we get through Monday and then Tuesday night, anywhere from an inch to perhaps an inch and a half Vancouver, Portland, and even at the coast, places like Tillamook could get closer to about two inches, maybe even two and a half on the high end. Of course, these estimates could change quite a bit between now and then, but at this point, that's pretty significant. A daytime highs tomorrow at the coast. We'll see some low 70s out there. Inland Valley temperatures up to about 80, 81. Corvallis, Salem, uh, Pendleton tomorrow, 85. Look at those overnight temperatures now. Burns, you're starting off the morning in the low 40s, mid 40s, Baker City. 49 in Bend with a high tomorrow up to about 82 um, Hood River 83 the Dalles 86 and government camp 71. Now for your seven day forecast, this is looking pretty good. Now if you're looking at tomorrow and seeing mostly sunny, that is the key mostly sunny, but in the morning you may be waking up to some areas of dense fog in the valley, but that shouldn't stick around too long or certainly get in your way of a gorgeous day in the 80s. But the rest of the week, it just it's just cool. I mean, mm -hmm. mid 60s all the way through next Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, use that day to clean up because the rain's coming. Yeah, it is <laughs> it's coming good, too. Thanks. Mitch.